from Cal Dooley. We represent about 85 percent of the chemical manufacturers in the United States. The uh, U.S. chemical industry is one of the major consumers of energy, uh, and we use energy and natural gas not only for uh, the power to power our manufacturing operations, but also natural gas and oil are important feedstocks uh, to the manufacturing of chemicals. So oil and natural gas uh, is to the chemical industry as flour is to the bakery. So when we have the U.S. domestic energy supply situation that ensures that we can have competitive access uh, to energy as well as to our critical feedstocks, that enhances the competitiveness of the U.S. chemical industry globally. The U.S. chemical industry, as well as the entire manufacturing sector, would benefit from a domestic energy policy that is all of the above. Uh, that is that our traditional fossil-based energy sources of coal, natural gas, and oil, uh, ensuring that we're continuing to see the development of nuclear energy, uh, as well as capitalizing on this tremendous new uh, supplies of shale gas. Uh, and then we complement that with a continued focus on energy efficiency as well as the development of alternatives and renewables. Uh, we have to do all of the above if we're going to ensure that the U.S. manufacturing sector can become increasingly competitive in this global economy.